Hey there everybody and welcome back to more Tag Force. It's me Cooper and today I was taking a look at our status and I wanted to let you know I have changed decks but this is the record of our Drown God slash starter deck. This is how far we went before I decided to change decks. Let's blow that record out of the water and uh, no in fact let's ruin that record but we're not gonna do do I is there anyone here I want to duel? I don't think anyone's in this room. Is anyone in this room? You never know, guys. You should break into everybody's rooms and tell you no know for sure. I think the best way to test it... Hey, Gillian. I'm going to duel you again just because you are that old deck I was using. And I want to see if our new deck is, is much worse or has some potential. This deck, obviously, there is no... We have no archetype. We have no nothing. So this is what I like to call a mishmash deck. A mishmash deck called Sacred Finish. And I think this Sacred Finish deck is going to do a real good job. Because it has to. And if it doesn't, I'll cry. I already like my hand. This is a very good hand. Start Prickle Fairy, end turn, life is good. Alright, Sacred Finish, as you can tell, is already a very different deck than anything I've shown before. Uh, that is Kappa Avenger. I do not recommend playing that card. Like, ever. And play one trap card for me. Just one, though. Good. <laughs> it's funny when they actually do what I asked them to do. I'm going to summon... Whoops. I'm going to summon Grandmarg now. Grandmarg is one of our boss monsters. He's a mini boss, but whatever. We did happen to pull him, so we might as well take advantage of him. And destroy Divine... Re Wait. Couldn't you have chained that? I'm pretty sure he could have chained that, but his AI is not good enough. Yeah, 100% he could have chained that. It's a negate trap. There's nothing faster than negate traps. And then I would have been in a very bad situation. Alright, so I'm just going to draw a card. If I go for Hyper Hammerhead, I guarantee no matter what is face down, it's not going to be a problem. I'm going to go ahead and attack with Hyper Hammerhead. No, Shrink, we don't need you. Hey, it's you. But like I said, I guarantee that you're not a problem. So, go not be a problem somewhere else, and I'll do 2400 damage. If you want, you could summon yourself again, and we could do this all over again, where I guarantee that you're not a problem. I will set Shrink, even though I highly doubt he'll go after my Hyper Hammerhead. Not like most of his cards could, except that one. <laughs> I was going to say, there's only a few cards that could, and that is one of them. Alright, Shrink, it turns out you did need you. Did not realize I would. Uh, obviously, don't target my monsters first. That's really stupid. 90% of the time, I'm going to want their monsters to be the target of Shrink. Not every time, but 90%. I'm going to summon Lejin. Genie of the Mystical Lamp. This is one of those super rares we pulled. We're going to start a... Ta oh, it's game's out. Oh, man, the game's over. Dude, you didn't put up a fight. I come all the way over here to test out my new deck, and you didn't even do a single thing to me. All right, you really are the most basic character, aren't you? Thank you. That starter deck they gave us was really basic. That's why we had to edit it as soon as possible. And it worked out that we did. So we're going to advance the time. Uh, actually, no, we need to sleep. Let, let's sleep. I have an idea, but we're going to sleep first. It's Friday, the 12th. And now that it's Friday, we're actually going to do something I haven't done yet. We're going to skip class. We're going to go all the way. We're sleeping in, but we're not just sleeping in like a normal person. We're sleeping in until like 7, 8 o'clock p.m. It is 8 p.m., everybody. We have slept in. Everyone's going to be pissed that we did that. Um, I could see if anyone's here. Oh, they are here. And they're in good moods. Uh, Chumley. You are probably the easiest human character for me to duel. Let me, let me see what your hobbies are. Just the usual? That's fine by me. Uh, I would like to try to fight a face character. Somebody, you know, that actually is from the show. That you all remember and love. So I'm gonna use scissors. Ah, shit. Plus, Chumley's a page one character. If that makes sense to any of you first to go so i don't have my water deck anymore chums so try to take it easy on me i don't know how good this deck is i made it with uh basically the best scraps i have oh good i got prickle fairy as a starting card again when i'm going first oh i even drew my optoclops that is nice and i have seven tools on the opening turn i don't need woboku life is good i literally got everything i could possibly want whereas the chump got frenzied panda Alright, Frenzied Panda is adorable, and it will attack Prickle Fairy, and Prickle Fairy did a great job. 
Putting monsters into defense mode is her job after all. He's got two traps, but you guys already know I'm not afraid of traps. I draw a card. I'm going to go ahead and summon Optoclops. I could try and trunate for extra safety, but I don't need safety. I attack. Life is good. He doesn't even have a trap card. Except Michizur, I already knew it was going to be. Nice try, dude. Unless you target Prickle Fairy, you're going down. Oh, you did? Hmm. She already used. Uh, she already did what she needed to do. She was only there for tribute and in case I get one of my trap cards, so... Never mind. I'll save my seven tools for a more dangerous situation. Oh, crap. His waifu card. Damn it. Alright. He healed up just a little bit, but that's fine by me. Ah, oh, that's not fine by me. Alright. You're on my list now. Not really. I'm just... He's being mean. Alright. The chump is being a little mean to me, and I'm not a big fan of people being mean to me, so... I'm going to go ahead and summon Lejin. And we're going to start dealing with problems. The only reason I'm not attacking the face-down monster is because it could totally be his super annoying... I'll just find out. Is it Death Koala? Is it Death Koala? No, it's Vermin. That's actually worse for me. I thinned out his deck and and uh, next turn he could trouble... Uh, tribute, sorry. Tribute for Big Koala. And if he does that, I won't be happy. All he has to do is flip Vermin, get last Vermin, and then tribute. Oh, but he doesn't have that combo. What a shame. Ooh, I drew Gear Freed. I love Gear Freed. Gear Freed the Iron Knight is here, everybody. Anytime I see a Joey card, my happiness meter goes up. I don't know if anyone else has one of those, but I have a happiness meter. And uh, when it goes up, better things happen in my life. I, my, my tournaments become better. Uh, my family's happier. Like, life is good. Life is good. But when the happiness meter goes down, mm -mm -mm, I start making the tournaments very cruel. I start making it so that nobody's favorite characters have a chance of winning. I'm an evil person. I don't want to be, but uh, I am in a good mood, so that means we're going to have a good tournament, whatever weekend this is. <laughs> Whenever this video releases, that's the weekend, and I don't know what we're doing, but it'll be fine. I summon Gora Turtle. Alright, we're going to start attacking. Gora Turtle's going to help because there's just too many life points involved. Chumley Huffington, you jerk. Funny enough, I don't run any monsters that aren't tribute with more than 1,900 attacks, so... You know, a bunch of 1800s with a Gora Turtle is actually perfect. And I have cards to protect Gora Turtle, so I'm in a perfect position right now. The only thing he can get to kind of scare me is Gakko Giri Panda, and then I even have a trap card for that situation. So I got something for everything. There's nothing he can do to me. Oh, well, he's going to try. I'm going to let him try. Alright, I'm going to activate. I should wait till damage step, but I'm going to do it just in case. Yeah, let's just go ahead and just stop you. Yeah, don't worry. I'll just fight you normally. Death Kangaroo is always a really cool card, but... Uh, yeah, I'm going to summon Fusilier, but obviously we're going to... Without offering, we don't need his big attack stat. Fusilier Dragon's nice to have when I own Premature Burial. Uh, you know what, Fusilier? Why don't you get your first kill? Why don't you go in there, punch them in the face, and get your first kill? <laughs> No, not Des Kangaroo, and then I can win by exact damage. I filled up my field with five monsters, won by exact damage, I did everything I needed to do. And I won with perfect life points, so come on, at least 200 bucks. 230, hell yeah. See, when you complete those little challenges, you can you can get some real money out of them. Aww, sorry chump. Alright, I'm glad I got to duel Chumley, I'm glad I got to, you know, put him in his place. Now let's go out and let's go duel someone a little tougher. I know that's what you've all been waiting for. Ugh. There's some people I'm really scared to duel. I just don't know if I should. The Obelisk Blue Dorms are scary. Abandoned Dormant Knight sounds super scary. Let's go with the Abandoned Dormant Knight. That sounds super scary. I don't think there's a, too many students that hang around here at night. No one's that brave. But if there are any, I want to meet them. Oh, is it just you, Moses? Yeah, Moses has nothing to fear. But don't worry, Moses. Uh, you're not the one I seek. I want to know if there's anyone else in here. Just checking. Just checking. No, no, no need to worry. we got 81 days till the tournament. I don't mind enjoying myself and looking around every now and then. Alright, how about the forest at night? That could be scary. Nah, Enzo. I hate Enzo. He's on my list. Joshua. No, I'm looking for a little bit stronger opponent. Someone uh, that isn't on my list, but is still pretty tough. Okay, these kids don't want to do it. What about the beach at night? We're just checking out all these facilities at night. I think it's a good time. Uh, phew. 
Look, I don't know if I told you guys this, but female students are extremely powerful, so... You know what? Let me talk to you. Hi there, I'm Anka. Nice to meet you. By the way, you've heard of North Academy, right? I wonder if people really get there by submarine. I mean, submarines go underwater, don't they? Yeah, no, they totally do, and uh, now that I know you're Anka, I don't want to duel you, but I will. Alright, Anka is a very powerful duelist and someone I'm totally scared of. This girl is insane. This girl is quite insane, so wish me luck, everybody. Yay! Good start, good start. I wonder if I'll get the same start where I get seven tools and prickle fairy. That's, uh, that's always a fun start. Warrior recruit! Yeah, this is gonna be horrible. Oh, this is gonna be so horrible. I have to play it like the best I, of my game. Oh, here we go, alright. Interesting. Okay, Skellinjol, easiest start in the world. I did get seven tools. That's crazy that I keep getting it. Um, yeah, I do want Skellinjol Flip, so that's fine. She's got Command Knight, which we shouldn't let her keep, but eventually we'll kill it. It's fine when it's by itself. The problem is when it has friends. Skellinjol's gonna let me draw a card, so I'm gonna let it die. Hyper Hammerhead's a nice safety card for later. Two traps is worrying, but I can't do much about it. Gear Freed is pretty safe since it can't be equipped on. I'm gonna go ahead and summon Gear Freed. Let's see if she has a trap for that. No? Let's see if you have a trap for me attacking, because I don't want you to keep that monster. I don't want you to keep it. She agrees. Wow. All right. That's a little wild. I'm gonna set Shrink, even though I don't like that it continues to annoy me. Only because there are some warriors even stronger than Gear Freed. I know, that blows my mind too. Ah, that's why she didn't care that I popped her monster. Okay. 800 is not a big cost for a card that good. Okay. Hi, Command Knight. Hi, Marauding Cat. Ooh, things are getting worse by the second. Yeah, she's got a real deck here, doesn't she? Oh, my. All that for another Command Knight, huh? Alright, so the reason they did this is because they think I can't get to Command Knight with three monsters on the field. And they're kind of right- oh, there's Prickle Fairy. And they're kind of right. The only mistake they made is that I'm not scared to just go in. Um, I am scared of UFO Turtle being a problem. So what we're gonna do might seem a little strange. It might seem a little strange. I don't want you to get mad at me when I do it. I'm gonna attack with you. We're gonna see what they do. Okay, still no trap activating. That's very strange. I expected something to activate. I'm gonna activate Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. Out of all these cards, Prickle Fairy is no longer necessary. She's good in the early game. We're gonna get rid of UFO Turtle for now. Because we want this guy gone for good. So Command Knight, let's get rid of you for good. They'll draw UFO Turtle, which is annoying. I normally like to get rid of the cards outright if I can kill it. But I can't kill it, so it's fine. We're gonna have to deal with it one way or another. You are starting to become annoying. Oh, you picked more. Never mind. If no, no, it's fine. So don't seven tools. If the, if they pick Command Knight again, then I would have been pissed. But they misplayed. They a hundred percent misplayed. All right. Um, Hyper Hammerhead is good. I just don't think it'll matter. Setting up Old Vindictive might. So I'm gonna do this because I can't win this turn anyway. We're gonna get Old Vindictive ready to go, expecting a Command Knight. But first, we need to get rid of Marauding Captain. So, Anka, you really do have some of the best spells and traps I've ever seen. You're just, you know, not doing your combos right. UFO Turtle into Command Knight should be the combo, but I don't know if she'll do it. Yeah, good combo. So, this is why we set up Old Vindictive, just in case she happens to top deck another Command Knight. That would be magical if she did, but you never know. Oh, God. Please stop doing those. Oh, but she is out of monsters, so that's fine. Old Vindictive wants to die. This is part of the plan. No need. Alright, Old Vindictive, your plan is simple. Just get rid of the Command Knight. It's the most annoying card. Rotting Captain can also be annoying, but I don't think we're going to get locked anytime soon. Hyper Hammerhead can now join the field. And yeah, next turn you lose. Not this turn, but next turn. No, Shrink, please stop. It's not enough damage even with you. Yeah, this is only 3,600 damage, so... We're just gonna chill, and next turn is mine. Anka, you are a powerful Obelisk Blue student. You have a crazy combo, but I got lucky that you weren't able to pull it off. And if you had pulled off your lock, this duel would have been the most annoying duel to watch ever. And she had lots of revival to pull it off, she just didn't. She has pot, I need pot. 
of greed. Pot of that. Wow, she's got a pot, all right. All right, so she's absolutely trying to reset this combo. If she draws two marauding captains, we're in danger. Oh my god. She wouldn't do that unless she did. Oh. Maybe the AI is just programmed to play face up. Maybe she has a trap. I do not know. She has a reason, for, I'm sure. But I can just ignore her reasoning by using Giant Trune. I had seven tools that whole time, too, so we were fine no matter what. I summoned another Hyper Hammerhead just to show her how worthless the position she was in. And yeah, we're going to do this, and then we win with exact damage. Yay! I love winning with exact damage for 20 extra dollars. You don't get it. It adds up. It really adds up, Anka. Oh! <laughs> oh, whoa, she was worth a lot. She's worth 200! Holy crap, she's worth a lot. That's worth more than most duels we fought. 200 bucks. My god. Oh, shoot, you whooped me. Take it easy on me, will ya? Let's duel again sometime. No, you are scary. You are scary. I'm surprised I dueled you today. I thought, I thought I'd be too weak. I just got lucky. I just got lucky. You know what, let's go, if I'm strong enough to fight the Obelisk students, let's go to the Obelisk Blue Girls dorm, and let's just take a look around. Plus, you look like a creep when you come here at night, so it's kind of fun. A raw yellow I've never faced before. Hello there. Why are you here at night? Who are you? I don't want to talk to anybody but girls. My name's Darone. Who do you think is better, Dark Magician Girl or Infection Fairy Lily? Injection Fairy Lily. There should be an Infection Fairy Lily. That's a good name for a card. Uh, anyway, it's a female spirit appears. Let me know, okay? I... No. I'm afraid... I fear for them, Duron. I'm not gonna let you, uh... Oh, God. Okay, well... Duron is probably somebody you should not allow near the... You know, all this girl, blue girl's dorm, but... There he is. And I'm gonna beat him into submission. That bastard. He's going first. Actually, what deck does he use? Duran special. Now I'm very scared. Why does he name the deck after himself? Oh, he's got some energy, huh? Ooh, I got a Mother Grizzly, though. Oh, no! You and that other guy are both waifu deck guys. I don't like you. I can already tell I do not like you. Alright, I'm gonna set up Mother Grizzly so I can have an extra monster. For Monster Gate's usage. Oh, he doesn't have another monster. Lucky me. Super lucky me. Alright, the only reason I run Mother Grizzly anymore is just because it's my only floater. And look at my targets, it's not like I have much. Um, let's go with Island Turtle since I'm planning the Monster Gate anyway. I just want to have something that can protect my field while I'm doing the Monster Gate stuff. Oh, that was interesting. Uh, we're going to set you up. We're going to s put you in defense mode to protect me. Defensive strats don't normally work, but I need the Skeleton Jewel to help me draw better cards. You're joking! The he got he just happened to get the water one. Holy crap! If he su special summons from the deck, it does piercing now. Holy crap! What just happened? What just happened? He just no. You're joking. Every oh he didn't go for piercing. That was really stupid. But other than everything before that was great. I am mad at how good these plays are. He has a 2k beater right now. Hyper Hammerhead can't solve all these problems. Night Assailant can't either. Prickle Fairy can hold them back, just barely. Alright. I have to put all my faith into Prickle Fairy right now. The Duran Special, literally. I can't believe it. The one flip effect monster, and it was the water one. Super unlucky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, I'm just building. I have to. Okay, 2k defense, and I got one of them into defense. Good. Prickle Fairy always coming in handy. I need something to hit that back row. He's got too much back there. Lejin is not even strong enough. These girls are way stronger than him. And honestly, even though I would love to monster gate, it can't really do much with it. Lejin would only be able to try and destroy this card. You know what? Let's do it. Just to try and get hit by a trap card. That way, I can get rid of a trap card. Okay, well, I, I killed it at least, so there's one down. One problem down, way more to go. What are the odds my monster gate hits something I actually want? You know what? Let's try. Let's try. 
Legend isn't strong enough. We already know this. Let's try to hit something worthwhile. Okay. 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 Holy crap. I was going to draw five, six spells. I was going to draw six spells and traps in a row. Holy crap. My deck now is 22 monsters, but damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're still healing. I don't care. Hyper Hammerhead will deal with one of the problems. The one that has the... Uh, okay, we're getting rid of the piercing effect. That's the good news. It will no longer have its effect. And you can just resummon it. Yep, I don't care. What matters is that I hit the piercing effect. And I thinned out my deck quite a lot. So I now... I can draw nothing of value. Perfect. Knight Assailant, come here. We're going to start slowly getting rid of everything. I don't think there's any... I, I didn't hit anything and put anything into the grave. I need to hit, like, Fusilar Dragon or something. He's still healing, but I'm okay with that. Prickle Fairy saves me. <laughs> Holy shit. All right. Knight Assailant's going to do their job really well by uh, getting rid of the problem card that was healing them for too much. Yeah, face down scares me, I admit it. Three back row scares me. Losing a thousand life points for confiscation scares me. What doesn't scare me? That's a good question. At this moment in time, I don't know what doesn't scare me. Everything I do will cost me life points. I could go for Hyper Hammerhead. But if it's just another Charmer card, then all I'm doing is bouncing it back to the hand. I'm not killing it. Lejin would kill it. But then he just dies right after with nothing happening. I can get a Gore Turtle and that'll do me nothing. Dummy Golem doesn't matter. I think what we do is we go Legin and then we try to Dummy Golem. And then as long as he doesn't Normal Summon, we're good. But that is banking that none of these traps matter. Because they could just have an MST and none of this matters. Let's, ju let's do it. It costs less than Confiscation and I honestly don't care what's in his hand right now. You know what? No, go Hyper Hammerheads. Just in case I really need this. Yeah. Screw Legin. Then... Attack first, then we'll decide on who to set. MST. Oh! Holy crap, he had a magic... S oh my god. Oh my god, this guy is my kryptonite. Duran, I don't like you. I knew I was missing a raw yellow. I didn't realize it was an asshole. I am barely still in this duel. You're joking! It was the Earth! I should have just picked legit. No, legit would have done more. It doesn't matter. How did he... What? Both times it just happened to be the charmer of the... No, if he goes for piercing, I lose. If he goes for piercing, I lose either way. It's game. It's game. It's game. It's game. Get me out of here. All right. Our first loss of the Let's Play. And it's going to be to... Of all characters, Duran. And it's because he stole two of my monsters through pure luck. I lost. That was my first loss of the Let's Play. How many wins did we go before I got that first loss? I'm very curious. You got me curious. Let's go check out our status. We went 50 wins in a row before getting our first loss. 50 wins in a row. And it's because Duran here got the perfect monsters, the perfect magic cylinder timing, everything just right when he needed it. Just exactly when he needed it. You son of a person. I can't believe that happened to me. I made no money today, which makes sense. I'm not going to be leveling up anymore. Oh, that's, that hurts my heart. It really does. Oh, shit. They're not here. Oh, no. Well, maybe today we don't buy cards. Maybe today we just try to make some money back. Oh, hi. Hi there. We're closed for today. Come back tomorrow. I like that she's at the microwave. What are you doing, Dorothy? We're done for today. Come back tomorrow. Can I duel you? You're not going to let me yet, huh? Yeah, she doesn't learn the rules until New Game Plus. Uh, Horror of Light. Who are you? I need an easy duel. Gary, I'm sorry. I just need some quick cash, man. I'm 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 kind of kind of itching here, man. I'm kind of itching. Oh man, I'm itching for a duel. Give me some paper. I can't believe it. 50 wins, and then I got my first loss. And to any character, it was Duran because he stole two of my monsters into piercing damage special summons into a magic. S oh, just so much going on. Well, oh, Cooper, you should have picked Mother Grizzly. I still lose. Even if I summon Mother Grizzly instead of Dummy Golem, I, I knew it was over at that point. It was still a loss. It's just wild. Absolutely wild. What a world we live in. But I can beat Geary no problem. This deck doesn't suck. It just... We just ran into an opponent with a perfect counter. 
And honestly, if I dueled him again, I'd probably beat him just because... Well, I don't, I don't know, maybe not. Oh, we get to see a Geary Fusion. What does he got? Holy crap, he's got Empress Judge. That's actually a legit good monster. I'm going to have some trouble beating that, except for Grand Mark, of course. Protector of the Thrones looking strong thanks to the A-Forces. Um, new. New. Mother Grizzly, help me. More mothers, more grizzlies. I could Gora, funny enough, but I'm going to go for another Mother Grizzly. Alright. And I have a good reason, because I could just shrink it. <laughs> that monster is a problem, I will admit, but I can make the problem shrink. Oh, it's still better than me. Oh, it's its original attack. I always forget. Original attack points. Come on, Cooper. Doesn't matter. I have Grand Mark. All we have to do is destroy the other monster. Gore keeps us safe from the monster. That's a problem. It's a win-win. It will be a win-win. Empress Judge, here we come. And, yeah. Remember, it's original attack points. Come on, man. It's not current. I keep thinking it like limiter removal rules where it's just double. It's just half, you know? So, Empress Judge cannot attack, but I can attack, and that is what we're working with right now. I highly doubt any of his other cards will be able to do anything. Holy shit. Oh my god, that was the perfect card. Interesting. Well, should have uh, just killed her. Should have went with Old Vindictive, just killed her. I'm gonna do that now. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. You got something up your sleeve, Geary. And Empress Judge does give me this much trouble. But it's gone now. The problem is dead now. Get her out of here. <laughs> yeah. I understand. I'd be freaking out too. That that does suck to lose a really cool card. No beater monsters right now is a problem because they're, the A-Forces is going to become bigger and bigger. And I can't destroy A-Forces because we don't own MST, Heavy Storm, or anything right now. I think we have, like, Dust Tornado. That's about it. I'll use Prickle Fairy just because I might as well get one of them into defense mode. I could attempt Monster Gate, but I only have three Tribute Monsters in my deck that I could possibly hit. It's better when I have advantage. Oh, wow. That is interesting. I... I am in trouble. I am in decent trouble. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to do now. Prickle Fairy was supposed to keep me safe. She can't really do that on that on that side of the field. Okay, well, let me draw Optoclops or something. That'll get me out of this situation. That is a safety play. I like that. That'll help. That with Monster Gate is exactly what we've been what we've been waiting for. So we set this up and everything's back to normal. We use this to destroy our own Prickle Fairy because it's actually a beneficial play to do, because watch this. And as long as they don't get another warrior monster, uh, they can't beat my monster. If they do get another warrior monster, then oh crap. Haha. -ha. Oh crap, it might be the same. Oh, oh I should have used it. I, I wanted to scapegoat, but I didn't by accident. Um. Hmm. Weird idea. Do I just go? Uh, let's just go Grand Mark. Let's just go Grand Mark. Let's get the big beater guy out there. He'll pop the girl. It could be another one of those girls. I don't want to see them anymore. It could also be the queen card, so our princess card. It totally was. It was for burn. Yep, princess card. And let's go in there and let's just stop them from being a problem. All right, the A-Forces is not a problem anymore. Next turn, I'll do the scapegoat monster gameplay. I was supposed to do it last time. I only made a slight mistake. There we go. There we go. But Cooper, you can't use Scapegoat for Tribute. Eh, shut up. <laughs> I can do whatever I want. No one can stop me. That's pretty good, too. I activate Monster Gate. See? I told you. Hey! The boss monster of the deck. Sacred Phoenix of Nafluflafla. That's why it's called Sacred Finish. I also have the Sacred Phoenix Wing, which is funny. Uh, let's just go ahead and let's get in there. I have too many Scapegoats, but they'll eventually attack them, so it's fine. Let's get rid of every card they own. Sacred Phoenix is one of the safest cards in the game. Protector of the Throne be damned. Hopefully they do draw a monster next turn and go after one of my tokens. That'd be real nice. Oh, he bricked. That's a shame. Alright, well, if that's the case, then I'll just have to attack with these two. 4,800 is still plenty of damage, but I was hoping they'd kill one so I could do my job. I can't do my job. 
What a good turn. All right, Geary. Give me some cash, man. I, I, I'm in trouble. I haven't lost a duel in so long, so, you know, I, at all. I, I, I started this Let's Play with no losses. But now I'm, I'm into it. I'm getting into it. I lost to a loser, in my opinion. All right, yep. Give me some space to summon. I do appreciate that. No traps, so that's weird. You drew some spell or something. Oh, Fusler. It'd be fun to get you at full power, but I love Gear Freed, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Gear Freed. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. It's like, hey, look, my Sacred Phoenix is gonna use its Phoenix Wing Blast. And, of course, we're gonna win with our boss monster. Go ahead, Sacred Phoenix. of And that's good. Gary goes down. I needed this. I needed a win today. Yeah, you lost all right. New I score bonus for what? Number of tokens, special summon. Number of special summons. Okay, fair enough. 40 extra bucks for that. I'll take it. We at least hit grand, but we can't go shopping today. So we'll have to save that for next time. I know that breaks a lot of hearts. Please remember to like and subscribe. Next episode, we'll have a little extra spending money, and it'll be Saturday, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Bye bye